that the lips yeah. are sticking out still a little bit too far. Yeah, I never know. Um, but I think you can fix it with a combination of small decisions. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think... Mm -hmm. Okay. of half tone around this area where here it's light and then it's a bit darker. Uh, this is the tempo line around this so much here. Yeah. And I don't don't change it too quick until you understand but uh, there is this line mm -hmm. normally uh, where the forehead changes into the side mm -hmm. view. Okay. And on yours mm -hmm. you know it's a little bit too rounded. I feel like it's a little bit too wide. If you look, uh, if you come a little bit closer, there is a pretty narrow line going up into all of the nose, and then uh, there is the separating line where it's all one shape. Um, you could still like on her it's quite prominent this nasal labial fold from mm -hmm. the nose down in the separation mm -hmm. of the area of the mouth which is maybe turns in a little bit more you could reduce a little bit here and then the cheek is kind of sitting on top of it hi everyone <laughs> my name is alexandra slava and i'll be teaching today's course um, first of all, thank you to Ms. Baden of Weltkunstschule for making this happen. It's a big privilege to be teaching here. And thank you for deciding to spend a uh, beautiful Sunday <laughs> having some interesting learning experience. Um, today's course will focus on sculpting a portrait from life. And I hold my arms straight, I close one of my eyes, and I flip the angle uh, from my sculpture to the model, the surface. But again, I make sure to keep the front part kind of a bit like a pancake, more squashed. <laughs> because if you blow it out right now, and then you have to find all the depths by carving, it's not what I want you to do. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But we... Well, we can make sure that it kind of looks fine from everywhere. <laughs> and this is actually how I do work in my atelier. Yeah, I'm very impulsive when I start to just put big chunks. So you see, I still have a bit of space I could build up. But I'm going to stop here because it's good to be a little bit underbuilt so that when you start breaking everything down into angles and finding the silhouette, you can do it by adding, not reducing. So, fine. Yes. It's starting from behind the ear yes. and it is going all the way to the pit of the neck. Yeah. Nothing you should bother too much about now. We are mainly focusing on the face, mm -hmm. but if you add a bit more volume here, mm -hmm and you can see it quite clearly, um, it will just bring more uh, realistic feeling. 